فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحوم كالطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is your brother Musab ibn Umair recording for the Prophet's Path channel Insha'Allah today we are going to discuss about how should you observe Laylatul Qadr Is it by praying or by reading Quran or the Prophet's life stories, listening the lectures and lessons and by celebrating it in the masjid. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to strive hard in worship during the last 10 days of Ramadan as he never did in any other time. Praying, reading the Quran and making dua. Imam Bukhari and Muslim narrated from Aisha radiallahu anha that when the last 10 days of Ramadan came, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would stay up at night and would abstain from marital relations. Imam Ahmad and Muslim narrated that he used to strive hard in worship during the last 10 days of Ramadan as he never did at any other time. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi sallam used to wake up his family for the prayer during the last 10 days and not in other nights. Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah stated, praying tahajjud in the last part of the night is beloved to me and that a person strive in it and wakens his family and children to pray if they are able. It has been authentically reported by both Bukhari and Muslim that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to knock on Fatima and Ali's door at night and say to them, will you not wake up and pray? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to wake Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha up at night after he finishes praying tahajjud before he prays vitr. This is an encouragement has been narrated for the husband and wife that each one wakes the other and lightly sprays water on their face. So inshallah may Allah give us tawfiq to stay awake the remaining nights of Ramadan and grant us Laylatul Qadr. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. تذكر يوما كنت تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة